Welcome back! Today's story is The Wizard, written by Jack Perlisky, illustrated by Brandon Dorman. The Wizard, watchful, waits alone within his tower of cold gray stone and ponders in his wicked way what evil deeds he'll do this day. He's tall and thin with wrinkled skin. A tangled beard hangs from his chin. His cheeks are gaunt, his eyes set deep. He scarlet eats, he needs no sleep. He spies a bullfrog by the door and stooping, scoops it off the floor. He flicks his wand, the frogs a flee through elementary sorcery. The flea hops once, the flea hops twice. The flea becomes a pair of mice that die into a bubbling brew. Emerging as one cockatoo. The wizard <laughs> laughs a hollow laugh. The soaking bird reduced by half and when perplexed it starts to squawk the wizard turns it into chalk with which he deftly writes a spell that makes the chalk Silver bell, which tinkles in the ashen air, till flash, a fire burns brightly there. He gestures with an accent neck to try to bring the bullfrog back. Another flash, no flame now burns, as once again the frog returns. But when it bounds about in fear, the wizard shouts, Be gone from here! And midway through the frightening cloak, it vanishes in clouds of smoke. The wizard smirks a fiendish smirk, reflecting on the woes he'll work. As he consults a dusty text and checks which hex he'll conjure next. He may pluck someone off the spot and turn him into who knows what. Should you encounter a toad or a lizard, look closely. Hmm, it may be the work of the wizard. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's story, Please hit the like button and share. Thank you for clicking on Sai's reading time. Please like and subscribe. And make sure to hit the bell to turn on your notifications. That lets you know every time I upload. Thank you.